All right, this is Grade 3, Module 2, Lesson 17, and we're going to be estimating by rounding. And uh, remember, we've uh, initially started to learn how to round uh, by using a number line, right, a vertical number line. Uh, we're going to do that in our head, but for the purposes of this video, we're just going to go, boom, round straight away. Uh, for example, if it's like 252 and we're going to round to the nearest 100, we're going to go, boom, that equals, I'll put it over here, 300, or perhaps if it's 252 and we want to round to the nearest 10, we'll just instantly just say, oh, to the nearest 10, that's 250. Um, the idea is we want to make it efficient. We want to just go straight to the idea, or the answer, the estimation. But really what's going on in our heads is this vertical number line over here. Um, and uh, So that's what's going to be the theme throughout this video. All right, in this problem, we've got Dina, and she reads 361 minutes during week one, and, uh, and then uh, of her school's two-week-long readathon, and then she reads for 212 minutes during week two. First qu question, A, estimate the total amount of time Dina reads. Now, it says just by rounding. It doesn't say what we should round to. So let's round to the nearest hundred. Um, this is called, sometimes we call this front-end rounding or front-end estimation uh, because we're going to just, the largest place value is 361. So we're going to take that 361 and the 12, and 361 rounded to the nearest 100 is going to be 400. So I'm going to put a, is almost, or is about, that's that squiggly equal sign means it's about and then 212, if we're going to round to the nearest, oops, I forgot, nearest 100 there. Uh, if we're going to round it to the nearest 100, that becomes 200. And then 400 plus 200 is 600. So our estimation to the nearest 100 is 600. Now, this next thing says estimate the total amount of time Dina reads uh, by rounding in a different way. Well, let's do that, and let's say this time we'll round to the nearest uh, nearest 10. Let's do the nearest 10. So that's going to be 361, 212. Now this time we're going to round to the nearest 10. So that's going to be like 310, 320, 330. Um, so the, the estimation would be 360 or 370. And so we're going to round to the nearest 10, which puts us at 360. And similarly, we've got 212, so that's going to round to the nearest 10. It's going to be 210. And then when we add those together, we get 570. And then the last problem here is calculate the actual number of minutes. Which method of rounding was more precise? So let's, let's add for real. So I'm going to stack those up vertically, 361 plus 212. And I'm going to add. So 1 plus 2 is 3. 6 plus 1 is 7. 3 plus 2 is 5. So the answer is 573 minutes is how long she reads. Now the question is which um, estimation was more accurate. In this case, my estimation here is more accurate because, and why? Well, when I rounded to the nearest 10, um, both of these numbers were barely, hardly anything away from the 10 that I was rounding to, like 361 to 360, that's only off by 1. 212 to 210, that's off by 2. So we're not off by a lot, whereas up here, 361 rounds to 400. Well, that's off by 39. And then 212 rounding to 200 is off by 12. Uh, so in, I mean, we're just, the rounding to the nearest 100 had a, a greater error, I guess, is the way to think of it. And uh, so that's our foyer into rounding to estimate and then comparing our estimations with the actual answer. And that is 
Grade 3, Module 2, Lesson 17, Estimating uh, by uh, Rounding, and then adding and comparing our estimations with the actual answer.